Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we're going to review Bernoulli differential equations. A Bernoulli differential equation takes the form y prime plus pxy equal qx y to the n where px and qx are continuous functions on the interval we are working on and n is a real number. Now once again these uh, differential equations in this form are known as Bernoulli equations. Now the thing to notice about uh, Bernoulli equations is this n right here. If n is equal to 0 or if n is equal to 1 then the equation is a simple linear differential equation and we already know how to solve uh, those types of equations. So in this review, we'll, we'll stick to equations that uh, where n is not equal to 0 or 1. However, the goal of solving Bernoulli differential equations is finding a substitution, plugging it in, and put it, getting it into a form that's similar to a linear differential equation in solving. So we'll, we'll run to the steps of how we get to that point. So in order to solve these, we'll first divide the equation by y of n to get y to the negative n y prime plus p x y 1 minus n is equal to q x. So you see we're inching a little bit closer to having a linear differential equation here. Now the next step is to use the substitution of the term whatever term is connected to the p x uh, term in the, our equation. So we're going to pull this out as our substitution and denote that as v. So y1 minus n. Now once uh, we differentiate this, this will lead and plug it back in, this will lead to a differential equation that we can then solve. So we need to be careful with this however. When it comes to dealing with the derivative y prime, we need to determine just what y prime is in terms of our substitution. This is easier to do than it might at first look to be. All that we need to do is differentiate both sides of our substitution with respect to x. Remember that both v and y are functions of x, and so we'll need to use the chain rule on the right side. So taking the derivative of v, v prime is going to be, using the chain rule, 1 minus n, y minus n, y prime. <clears throat> So these are our new substituted values that we are going to now convert our original equation into the uh, into terms of v. So let's just plug these substitute values back in to this equation, and we get one divided by one minus n v prime plus p x v is equal to q x. So now our equation is in terms of v, our substitution, and if you notice it is now in a linear differential form. And now we can solve for v. So, uh, and then once we solve we can plug back in our substitution y1, y raised to the 1 minus n. So that's essentially the steps to solving a Bernoulli differential equation. We just uh, basically get it into a form where we can substitute and then plug that substitution into the into the original equation to get a finally get a linear differential equation then we, that we just use our normal process to solve and then resubstitute our substituted value. So let's run you through an example and illustrate that uh, so you guys could better understand. Let's say we want to solve the initial value problem y prime plus 4 divided by x y is equal to x3 y squared. Now this almost is a linear differential equation but is not because of this y squared value. So uh, actually let's let's establish our initial value. It's y2 is equal to minus 1. So first thing we need to do is divide through by y squared. And what we get after we do that is y to the negative 2 y prime plus 4 divided by x y to the negative 1 is equal to x to the third. So now we need to 
define our substitution, which this is uh, 4 divided by x is px, so we, our substitution is going to be y to the negative 1. So pulling that term to the side, v is equal to y to the negative 1. Differentiating that, v prime is equal to negative y to the negative 2 y prime. And now plugging these values back in to our original equation and we get negative v prime plus 4 divided by x v is equal to x to the third. So as you can see we're now at a linear differential equation that we know how to solve. So let's uh, go ahead and run through the, the um, solution to that, to this linear differential equation. Let's get this negative sign out of the front here. So we'll rewrite v prime minus 4 divided by x. v is equal to negative x to the third. So px is going to be equal to negative 4 divided by x, which means our integrating factor is going to be equal to e to the integral of negative 4x dx, which is equal to e to the negative 4 natural log x, or x to the negative 4. So our integrating factor is x to the negative 4. Now multiplying everything by the integrating factor and simplifying the left side to be in the form of the product rule, we get x to the 4 v prime is equal to x to the negative 1. Now we just integrate both sides and that gives us x to the negative 4 v is equal to negative natural log of x plus c. And now just getting v alone so we can uh, uh, solve for v. vx is going to equal cx to the fourth minus x to the fourth natural log of x. So we're down to the point where we have our general formula for our solution. Now all we need to do is use our initial value to, uh, to solve for the constant of integration c. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start a new page here and let's let's write out once again that where we're at vx is equal to cx to the fourth minus x to the fourth natural log of x and our initial condition once again is going to be y2 is equal to negative one so now we now uh, now like I said we need to determine the constant of, it, of integration this can be done in one of two di two ways we can convert the solution we can convert this solution into a solution in terms of y and use our original initial value or we can use the initial condition um, and convert the initial condition into terms of v but because we'll need to convert the solutions to y's eventually anyways, let's just do it that way. Let's sub back in our original substitution. So our original substitution was v is equal to y to the negative 1. So substituting that back into our equation, we got y to the negative 1 is equal to x to the fourth c minus natural log of x. So now we could use our initial condition, just plugging in the values. Negative 1 to the negative 1 is equal to 2 to the fourth c minus natural log of 2, which uh, calculating that out, we find that c is equal to natural log of 2 minus 1 over 16. So there's our constant of integration. And once again, what we did was we just uh, substituted back in our substitution of y negative 1 to our general solution here, plugged in our initial condition, and solved for c. So now uh, we can just plug c back into our equation right here and solve for y and just get y alone. So we have a, our particular solution. 
and we got y x is equal to negative 16 this is after simplification of course negative 16 x to the fourth 1 plus 16 natural log of x divided by 2 and that will be our solution of this Bernoulli equation So let's run through another example. Let's, uh, let's reinforce this with one last example. We won't run through as much detail. Um, I think you guys got the process down probably fairly easy. Uh, but uh, once again, essentially in a nutshell, we're working this uh, nonlinear differential equation into a linear differential equation by using substitution, resubstituting, and using the initial value to finally solve for our particular, our final solution. So let's say we have uh, the Bernoulli equation, y prime is equal to 5y plus e to the negative 2x, y to the negative 2. And so we have the initial condition, y0 is equal to 2. Now the first thing we'll need to do here is multiply through by uh, y squared. And we'll also do a little rearranging to get things into the form that we'll, we'll need for the linear differential equation. So doing that uh, gives us y squared y prime minus 5y to the third is equal to e to the negative 2x. Now the substitution here is going to be y3. So pull that term to the side and substitute so v is going to be y to the third which means v prime is 3y squared y prime now plugging our values these are our substitution values back into our equation to get it in terms of v we get one third v prime minus 5v is equal to e to the negative 2x so let's get rid of that negative one th or that one third in front of the v prime. We'll get uh, v prime minus 15 v is equal to 3 e to the negative 2 x. So p here, our p x is going to be negative 15, which means our integrating factor is e to the integral of negative 15 dx or that equals uh, e to the negative 15 x. Now multiplying through and integrating we get uh, once again I'm not going to write all these steps out but uh, just visualize we're going to multiply our integrating factor through our whole entire equation. Simplify it so the left side is in a uh, product rule format, integrate, and then rearrange so the, uh, the final or the general solution is in terms of v sub x. So doing all that, we get v sub x is equal to c e to the 15 x minus 3 divided by 17 e to the negative 2 x. Now let's sub back in our original substitution here to get uh, our equation back into terms of y instead of v and so we could use our general condition to solve for the constant of integration c. So subbing y3 back in for v we get y th to the third is equal to c e to the 15 x minus 3 17 e to the negative 2 x. Now simply just plugging in our initial condition, we get 2 to the third is equal to c e to the 0 minus 3 17 e to the 0. So c is equal to 139 17. Now plugging c back in to our equation here in terms of y rearranging so the final equation is in terms of y sub x or y of x we get y of x is equal to 139 e to the 15 x minus 3 e to the negative 2 x 
divided by 17 all raised to the one-third and that's our final solution so that's all I got for you guys today quick review of Bernoulli equation differential equations if you have any questions hop on over to engineerandtrainingexam.com or jump on over there and check out some more review material bunch more videos to get you guys on your way to dominating this exam it's my goal it's my vision uh, so if I can help in any way just let me know so until next time we'll be talking soon take care bye